Hey guys, and welcome back to another kind of episode on Federico Talks Watches. More of a public service announcement. We're going to talk about JLC and their recent pricing and what you should do about it. Now, of course, before we get started, customary wristwatch check. Today I'm wearing my Piaget Polo 45 Flyback GMT Chronograph. Absolutely loving this watch. Big, ugly, but full of personality. And also, guys, don't forget to check out DelrayWatch.com. A bunch of new watches in stock, including a Rolex BLNR on Jubilee Batgirl, full box, full papers, least expensive one in the country, an Omega Speedmaster Snoopy, super hot, and also the least expensive in the U.S. by far, and one of my favorites, which I got three of these, so I'm keeping one for myself, is the Paul Picot Regulator with the multicolored dial, the interesting Regulator Power Reserve layout, a very, very cool watch. It almost looks like an AP Jules Audemars had a baby with an Alan Silberstein watch. Um, very interesting piece, Have, haven't seen one before, kind of really like it. All at DelrayWatch.com, the best place for a watch geek to buy a watch. Link in the description below. So yeah, guys, this weekend I was just kind of going on Facebook, looking in the watch groups, and shout out to the JLC Passion Group on Facebook. Great information in there. Um, and I noticed a few things. Uh, you know, obviously it's a JLC-focused group, but a lot of people were posting screenshots of JLC's price increases as ba as far back as 2020 um, and even more recently. And, you know, what they've been talking about, and so this is not something I discovered, I'm giving credit to them, is between 2020 to now, a lot of their models have had massive price increases. Some people know that watch prices go up five, four to 7% a year. Um, Sometimes, you know, most of the times they skip a year in between price increases, but especially during COVID, nobody really increased their pricing. However, between 2020 and 2023, some of Jaeger's models have gone up as much as 45% plus in their retail prices. Um, a lot of models less than that, but a massive spike is my point. And while JLC has always been considered an undervalued brand, and a great brand, a brand I love, always offered great value, but just never could quite crack into the upper level of watchmaking, at least in terms of perception, because in product, they're there. Their new pricing is extremely aggressive. I mean, we're talking simple reversos now, ten, eleven thousand dollars $11,000. Even the reversal chronograph they just released, you know, it hasn't even hit stores yet, but from release to delivery, even that watch has gone up, you know, something like 10, 12%. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. And that's in a few months. They haven't even delivered them yet. What is going on? I mean, listen, I don't blame Jaeger for wanting to charge more. I get it. They're a business. They've always offered great value. But at these current prices, MSRP, that is, we're talking retail prices from the store, I no longer think they're such a hot value. I think they're priced correctly, but they're no longer like a no-brainer. The good thing is the aftermarket prices, the pre-owned prices, haven't really caught up with the retail prices yet. So I guess my advice is if you're in the market for a Jaeger, buy one pre-owned and buy one as soon as possible. Not a plug for my store. I have a tiny Jaeger inventory. I'm just saying in general, buy one soon because you can still get a great deal pre-owned because they haven't really caught up. But of course, as more time comes with these big prices, the pre-owned market will also catch up. It's just lagging behind now. I don't know why Jaeger did it. Uh, you know, I don't work for Jaeger, obviously. I don't know their books. I can tell you a price increase makes sense, but these crazy high percentages, I mean, it must hurt their business, especially now during a time where uh, the watch market is cooling, right? We're coming out of this crazy inflated COVID market. The watch market is cooling, and a lot of their fans uh, just, you know, it, it's are very unhappy. Now, of course, everybody's going to be unhappy with a price increase, but 40 plus percent on some models makes zero sense. I mean, single-sided reversals in the five digits, that's absolutely 
nuts. I mean, I get they want to increase their prices, but could they have not done it over like a period, you know, a longer period of time, more consistently? You know, releasing a watch like their their chronograph reversal, releasing that watch, and then increasing the price before deliveries even start, also can leave a bad taste in everybody's mouth. I don't understand it, but JLC prices are very much on the up and up because the brand is increasing them. However, pre-owned market hasn't caught up yet. So I guess my point is, guys, if you want to buy a JLC, do it now before things go up way more than you anticipated. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Just a quick little analysis. Uh, thank you once again to the JLC Passion Facebook group. Two thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. It really does help. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.